guidance do you give to somebody who's getting into an aircraft and they're operating their first Rotax? What are the resources that are available to them? How do they get educated on the little engine? What we de definitely always recommend is to go to our service network and get a training with certain levels of training. And the first training level, we call it service training, which is about a two-day course, which is a perfect entrance for everybody to get some idea of how the engine operates and especially learn about the specifics on a Rotex compared to any other engine out in the market. Also, we decided to do some extra training, which we actually offer here during the show to get some basic information about all the engines and how to operate them. One of the crucial aspects of operating any engine is knowing where they can get some help when things don't necessarily go so right. Can you talk about the state of the art as it concerns the Rotex service network? We got 19 distributors worldwide who have more than 220 different service centers. So whenever you look for information, all you do is you go on our homepage, which is flyrotax.com and go into the dealer locator. Mm -hmm. Giving your IP address or entering your address will show you the next service center or repair center to you. Call them up and you will get all the technical information you want. Of course, also on our homepage, you can download the installation manual, you can download the operation manual, and it's all for free and available for everybody. So here's a great source of additional information you might want to read through night or whenever you have some time to go through. What's parts availability like, especially in the continental United States? Can a person who needs something reasonably expect that to show up in a reasonable period of time? That's what we're aiming for at all the times. So obviously, you have a standard ordering process, which you go through your local service or repair center. But we also have, especially for the commercial part, we have also AUG services, where we're trying to get you parts within the next 24 hours. It does work for most of the parts. Not everything's working perfect, but we, mm -hmm. as we grow in the fleet, there's more and more growing stock we have all over the world in order to make that happen as quickly as you possibly can. How do you go from a Continental or a Lycoming or a Franklin to a Rotax? What's the best way to do that? I think it's, again, as I mentioned previously, I think the best way to really get into this engine is go and see one of your service center for a service course because that really, in a two days nutshell, will give you all the specific, also all the differences between to what you've been used today. Something we also do during the shows, like Phil Lockwood did this morning, we're doing a short introduction of about one and a half hours, spelling out the specifics of that engine, also in comparison to other engines, but also giving some advice on the operations in terms of what fuel to use, what ethanol to, to be taken, also what, what kind of oil you, um, you can use, or why using this genuine spare parts rather than other spare parts. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration or weight. Learn more at AspenAvionics.com. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com.